During its two weeks, aside from the day spent in the rendezvous, Gemini 7 was primarily a, a medical flight, an attempt to find out what happens to two people in prolonged two-week weightlessness, cramped, out of contact with the ground except by radio, and uh, to see if there are any medical problems. In a press conference just after the flight, there was some, uh, some news from Dr. Charles Berry about that. A, a very unbelievable thing for any of you, and it's even more so for us who are this intimately involved with the things that they've had to do, and still have to do, I might add, because they've, uh, in a sense, filled the test tubes here, and now there's still a lot of work to be done with it. And uh, they, uh, there's, there's still uh, a lot that they have to go through uh, in this post-flight period in order to, to really make the get the ultimate out of the data that uh, have been compiled uh, during this particular mission. And I think it's going to be a real uh, medical milestone in that regard. Now, their, uh, their uh, response during the reentry, I don't think you could ask for anything more than that. I'd like to state that there was some talk about the dexedrine and whether it was going to be used. And uh, you remember yesterday, we, I talked with the crew about this, and this morning they came back and asked for the time that they should take it. Uh, they did not take the dexedrine, however. And I, uh, their uh, responses during the uh, entire uh, time of preparation for reentry and during reentry were superb. And I think their performance in this entire mission has been uh, uh, just absolutely top notch. And we've seen no evidence of any sort of degradation in performance during the entire time that they've been in flight. Uh, the first reports from the carrier, uh, we have, of course, not had uh, any, well, by now we probably have had the first tilt completed, but at the time I left the center, we had not, and uh, their skin looks to be in very good condition. Uh, it looks like uh, their weight loss is going to be somewhere in the 8 to 10 pound area uh, by, uh, this is by eyeball measurement. They had not been put on the scale they, uh, at that time and we'll have a lot more definite figures on, on that uh, before very many hours go by. President Johnson has extended praise and uh, beyond that granted promotions to three of the four astronauts involved in the flights of Gemini 6 and 7. The promotions under a policy set forth last August for Gemini astronauts will advance Navy Commander James Lovell to the permanent grade of Captain and Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Frank Borman to the grade of Colonel and Air Force Major Thomas Stafford to Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, Navy Captain Walter Shira, the fourth participant in the dual flight, was promoted to his present grade after completing his first Gemini flight, and he is already as high as he can go under the automatic advancement system. Aside from the crew, the most valuable thing to be recovered in one of these operations is the spacecraft itself. And with the crew safely aboard the carrier WASP, the task then was for the WASP to get up to the spacecraft and bring it aboard. The boat officer is standing there at the lip of the elevator with a small portable radio. Uh, he can talk to the bridge in that manner and also to the, and he can signal to the BNA crane operator. The line is being made taut. The officer on the elevator giving word for up it comes and spilling water out of its nose section, still riding in its flotation collar. Up comes Gemini 7. After five and a half million miles through space, 14 days, final recovery for the Gemini 7 spacecraft aboard the flight deck elevator number three of the USS Wasp. The McDonnell crew will systematically strip it take apart all of its systems, ship out what can be shipped out by airplane today, tomorrow. And the rest of it, of course, will stay aboard ship in Hangar Bay 3, side by side with its literally kissing cousin from space, Gemini 6, and ride into Mayport, Florida to the naval base there. Chuck Stuka, a McDonnell man aboard the aircraft carrier Wasp, said that the spacecraft itself was in excellent condition, and he noted also that everything inside was neatly stored. 14 days of housekeeping well done. We'll be back after this message from Gulf. 
several times we've had a view of the spacecraft as it was hoisted aboard uh, the carrier Wasp. It just occurred to me what it looks like. Two uh, slanted windows which look like eyes and the, and the uh, long proboscis. Looks like Ollie. All that's missing is the oversized single tooth. <laughs> you do have a vivid imagination, don't you? <laughs> well, the high point of the flight, of course, was the rendezvous. And uh, the film of it brought back to Earth yesterday. And film made in the seven capsule brought back to Earth today. And we assume we'll be able to see that perhaps tomorrow. In the meantime, here is another look at one of the most um, spectacular, I can't think of anything else to call it, spectacular pieces of film that uh, any of us has ever seen. Gemini 7 capsule there in the background, seen through the window of Gemini 6. Gemini 6, of course, came down Thursday and brought the film with it. Gemini 7 today bringing its film, which was, was made looking this way, but we won't see that until tomorrow. The Earth in the background, this is in color, and we hope you're able to see it that way because it is indeed beautiful. The uh, rounded shape in the foreground is the window, Walter Shiraz's window through which he is taking the pictures. The Pacific Ocean in the background with some cloud cover over it blue and white appears from here. The two spacecraft flying along side, alongside each other. Uh, that, I wouldn't attempt to estimate that distance, but it may be, what, what would you say, 100 feet? It's... I should think about that. Yeah. And you can see, you would almost not know they were moving if you didn't see the Earth or the Pacific Ocean they're moving along in the background because they're flying in such perfect formation, precisely the same speed, 17,500 miles an hour. They maneuvered about, and we will be able to see more of that when we get the other half of the film shot from Gemini 7, probably tomorrow. was the uh, seven was originally intended to be a 14-day endurance flight and no more. After it was planned, about a month or so before it was to take off, it was decided to use Gemini 6 for this rendezvous maneuver. And of course, as we have seen this week, a spectacular week for the space program, it worked and worked beautifully. Chet? Although the Apollo program is scheduled to get underway uh, next month, we are not yet completed with Gemini, although the end of the program is indeed in sight. Uh, Frank McGee, the Slee, we, we're just halfway through Gemini, aren't we? Just about, uh, Chet. Uh, this was seven. We had uh, 12 to go overall, so we would have five left. They should be completed by uh, the end of next year. And essentially, they will do in the future what they have learned to do in the past. They'll make applications of it now. They've learned that they can let a man outside the spacecraft uh, now they will let him out again and see what useful functions he can perform. They have learned they can rendezvous and uh, are virtually certain they can dock. Now they'll begin to do things with this. Uh, the next launching will probably be late in March. It uh, calls for a rendezvous and docking and a short space walk. And then in May, probably, the launching of Gemini 9, uh, which will have another rendezvous and docking with an Agena and another extended space walk. So, uh, as the Gina, or as the Gemini program moves on toward its completion, we're not likely to see anything startling or new, but uh, more of the same and put to a more practical purpose. As we say, there will be more film made in space during the rendezvous when it has been removed from the uh, capsule on the carrier, flown to the mainland, processed, and made available to us, and we suspect that'll be tomorrow. We'll have that as soon as it's available. In the meantime, we'll continue reports of whatever news develops out of the Gemini program. Um, also, there will be a, a special report on NBC tonight at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. That will be a summary of the entire 14 days of the flight, including one more look at all of the highlights, including the launchings, the rendezvous, and the recoveries. And for Gemini's six and seven, I think, Chet, that is about it. 
So thank you and good afternoon. This special NBC News report has been brought to you by the Gulf Oil Corporation, producers of more and better energy from oil. This program was produced by NBC News, which is solely responsible for its content. <laughs>